Welcome back to the Indefatigable. Uh, today, oh, before we start, let me introduce you to Denise, Russell, and Pat. How do? How do? What we thought we'd like to share with you today is uh, a jug sling knot. Uh, it's a complicated knot to do, but we will show you a very easy way to do this. Um, this knot was actually made uh, for putting on sacks and bags and they tell me that a, a lot of the sailors actually put the bottles in it and hung them over the side to keep them cool. Whether that's true, I don't know. But first of all, we just need a piece of line about roughly about a metre and I will show you now a very easy way of making this knot. Okay, we take a metre of line and we just put a bend in it here, or a bite. By the way, a bend is a bite. We take this down, so we end up with that situation there, with these two lines below here. We then take the right over the left, and we have that situation. And what we have to do now is take this under there, over here, under there, and over there. So I'll do it now by hand so we can see. We'll do it a couple of times and go through it. So it goes under, over, and under. Right. The thing to do now is to just tidy it up a bit, you know, make sure it's fairly even. We now take this one, pull it down, and then take this one and pull it down over it. And there's the jug sling. It's a beautiful knot, um, very decorative knot. People actually can uh, use them on knot boards, um, and you can do it with any size line. Now the idea, we haven't got a bottle here, but they tell me that uh, if you open it up and put it over, it will actually grip, really does grip. And they used to carry bags with it like this. And also, like I say, it, the jug sling for over the side with bottles. So what we'll do, we'll just run through that again. Okay, one meter a line. To do this knot, following it round with one lead is very, very complicated. Uh, and I mean, it takes quite a long time to produce that knot. So we did this again. We'll just pull this one over. So we're in that situation with these two pieces here underneath this bite. We now take the right over the left, and it's important at this stage that we keep this little bit here all pretty well even, because this now is the piece that we take. This piece goes under that, over that, under that, and over that. And then once we're at that stage, so I'll just do it again now so you can see by hand. Right, so we take it under that, over that, and under that. And you can see the knot forming now, but if you can make it, you know, the neater you make this part of it, the easier that it'll be for you. There's this one on the top here. There's nothing else to pull over. It's this loose one here. If you pull that over them, like so, turn it over and pull this one over there. And that's it. That's a jug sling. Beautiful knot. And it's not one you see in many knot boards because it is difficult to do unless you, you can do this shortcut. Now I have heard of people who, with, you can do it in a coloured, and you see lots of Americans actually that, that 
they, they actually super glue the back of it um, to, to actually stiffen it up and they do actually wear them. I mean you can, it's up to you how, lo how long you want this loop or you can have this loop very short if it was on a knot board but they do actually put them around the necks in I believe in some states in Texas and that's the jug sling and there she is, easy as that for you. Now we've done the jug sling today. If you remember in the last take we concentrated on the Turk's head. Now at a later take we would like to show you how to do some simple half itching with the Turk's head. This will enable you to cover a bottle. Now hopefully if you would be interested in us explaining that and demonstrating it for you we'd only be too pleased. Please leave your feedback in the comment section below.